punching up. They're punching down on every one of them, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's all bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So how many? How many overall? Like, should we do three? I think three is appropriate. Three is appropriate, yeah. and then we could. Should we do like a snake draft? So like, say like he went. So like, say if it went Dave. You are you gonna draft? You? Wait, so for the snake draft, is it only Jake that we can pick? Jake the snake. Yeah, draft. only you can only pick Jake the, the DDT. Snake, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damien. <laughs> I mean, he has plenty of stuff we could probably do. But, uh, <laughs> so that's where like the order reverses Use the snake every time. For evil. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it, it bit Randy. Yeah, so I was about to say, Macho Randy Man. Said, it, yeah. it snake bit him. So, yeah. so it's a draft. So we can't use other. Like we can't use one that's been brought up. <laughs> Munched no, on a man. Up, it's it was off us. Board. Oof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Okay, so that makes three. Even. Okay. Do you, are you gonna draft too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So you know. You know wrestling? I know some wrestling. You know some, dude. Look at him. He's a big man. He so loves I, wrestling. How yeah, should we dude. determine the order? Boudica, boudica. <laughs> um, I think we should wrestle. We should it. wrestle. For <laughs> it's only <Yeah>. logical. <laughs> yeah. In a tiny room with three giant men. Yeah. Let's and take adult. our shirts off, yeah. boys. <laughs> <laughs> Whitest nipple in the room. Whitest nipple. First. Ashiest elbows. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say got me beat. You got me beat. <laughs> Ashes, yeah. <laughs> No, I, 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 one, of, one of you guys go first. Dude, yeah, see, you're on the verge, dude. No, I don't no your elbows yeah, are knees. Verge, that's yeah. why they're not ashy. Jesus Christ. Your knees are elbows. That's why your knees are ashy. Big hey. elbows. All right. Mine? Yeah. Let's see. Thanks, man. <laughs> that's a compliment. Yeah. yeah. I think you got big <laughs> elbows. It's like calling a girl cute ankles. You know? Swell bows. Yeah, man. I feel all gollied up. You should. <laughs> I say let's not, let's not switch the... the Let's just do it in order and then start back over again because then someone will be picking twice. Yeah, that makes sense. You know True. I mean? They'll get first, last pick on the first Okay, the so draft. why don't we explain it fully real quick? Okay, so we're doing a draft. Yes. Draft, so once it's off the board, once someone said it, you can't use it for yours. Oh, speaking of which, while we're talking about draft and the, the you know the whole yeah. wars are going on, hey, yeah. this, one's, uh, this one's a message to the president. Hey, draft beer. Not me. Wow. That was good. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. I you. saw a bald eagle fly by when you said that, man. It was beautiful. Yeah. That's what a real American Mr. does. Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fuck it, Sorry. Biden. Would you, rather, <laughs> would you rather fight in Ukraine or Palestine? <laughs> oh, good question. Uh, Palestine. Oh, yeah. No, I shouldn't say that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no hesitation. You're like, what are you, stupid? Yeah. Israel. Yeah, you got to fight for my people, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you busting through the way again wall, too political like, um, the <laughs> dude with the shiny helmet oh my god like yeah. the kool-aid man <laughs> <laughs> so what do i need to explain Oy, yeah what? oh, oh. My god. <laughs> <laughs> what do i need to explain you guys understand how draft works right yeah so we each sort get to pick we'll do three rounds okay so once it's been maybe write it down once it's been taken uh and then we'll I don't know. Discuss which ones. Who has yeah. the best? Just just bringing up like WWE storylines, story, fights, you know, yeah, like anything. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I, I like I know some vague storylines and stuff, but a lot of times I like the specific moments. That's yeah, like yeah, yeah. The recreate, if it's, yeah. If it's, yeah. You know, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Who's all right. first? One of these guys. Um, let's leave the captain let's, spaghetti. Let's, we'll go. We'll go. I'll go last. Yeah. I'm so nervous, man. Right. So we'll go. We'll go this way. I did just draw a straw. <laughs> You drew a straw. Yeah. Okay. I, that's how we usually that's determine who goes the, first. That's a short straw. Ah. That's a pretty good straw. I feel like you should go first. <laughs> <laughs> you had to draw I mean, straws. You, first, you need to think for a minute? No, I got mine. All right. All right. You go first. We'll go this way. Okay. So number one would be the most offensive, right? In your mind, yeah. Or whatever. Okay. So we start on like most offensive. Yeah. Big O's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd say a, a very classic one, very widely known one, I would say, in the wrestling world, is uh, Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio fighting for <sighs> Dominique's custody yes, okay. in a ladder match. That was The emotions are high in that. Yeah, it was. It was. I think it was like WCW. I don't think it was WWE. It was W. It was, it was on SmackDown. I remember, dude. Oh, really? Because it was like. Yeah, it was Rey Mysterio. Yeah, yeah, it was like that time where like I was old enough to start understanding that like this shit probably wasn't real. Uh huh. But at the same time, I was like, it is real. 
Yeah. And I was like, they're going to fight for custody in a ladder match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this like, is, and this is, that, was the, that was the Rey Mysterio one. Not the one where he tag teamed with Dave Batista, right? Like that was oh, another I mean, custody battle, but that wasn't a ladder match. I don't, I don't think know. any of that is accurate. No, it was. I, well, he does tag yeah. team with Batista, but that's like literally like so long later and has nothing to do with custody. I thought, yeah. Sorry. This is custody of a of yeah yeah Eddie Guerrero yeah Mysterio ladder match totally for custody of Dominic <laughs> yeah and they have like throughout the story it's like there's like moments where Eddie's like I'm your puppy and like <laughs> <laughs> like there's moments where Dominic Ray's son is just like I like you more you know like, <laughs> yeah, they they used it as part of storyline now because Dominic Mysterio wrestles now yeah exactly. oh yeah he actually like got the most matches like. Out of any WWE wrestler really Wait, last year. So was it to see who was the stepdad or who was the step ladder? So the Oh my <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. So sick, fast. He's, so fast. He's good, dude. This is what he does. Yeah, but you, you have a calculator back there and time. <laughs> <Budica, Budica. laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I ruined the conversation. Yeah, but I, I'd say that was mine. That's so. number one. How Who old? How old Vicky? was Dominic? Or what? Vicky was Eddie Guerrero's wife. Yeah, yeah. she was the, like in the wheelchair, right? Yeah, later on, like yeah, with, uh, was with like, Edge, right? Yeah, that was that was actually a fun one. That actually had a pretty offensive moment. I might I might save that one for a later on pick for sure. That, True, that reminded me. But yeah, she'd go out and say, "Excuse me." That's like, oh yeah, such a classic heel. Like that's how do you how you get heat in any room is just being <laughs> an old like a, a bitchy Karen looking lady yeah, saying, excuse, "Excuse me," excuse me over and over. <laughs> and over. Excuse me. Yeah, it, that was actually pretty like that was classic wrestling right there for me. That, that was when I was like balls deep watching it. Oh, Seems, yeah. I mean, that's when I at least was in. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, uh, I remember the Edge and. Vicky, like they were like married or whatever, bro. They would like tongue kiss like so aggressively, and Edge was known for doing that. But like with Vicky specifically, it was as a kid, I was like, oh, you Edge, you fucking douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Edge in bed though? I bet you he's insane. Oh, doing the I bet you he goes spirit, to one yeah, side yeah. of the bed and <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> charges up with those eyes. The <laughs> ultimate edging, dude. It's getting True. edged by Edge. He, 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 an education, dude. <laughs> Goon wrestling. Yeah. He never finishes. He has no finishers. <laughs> I'm going to show you my spear. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. So, uh, Eddie versus Ray. Yeah. That's Dominic your draft. Must, uh, Dominic. For custody. For custody of, of Dominic. Yeah. All right. Just the way they used a child for it. Sure. Hey, I'll take care of all right down. Yeah, but that's the ultimate belt. Like custody. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the ultimate battle. For sure. <laughs> it shows who's the champ. Uh huh. Dominic then, fucks up and get a championship belt whipping. Like, like he's taking off. <laughs> You'll get the belt. And he pulls the whole WWE. <laughs> to to the I'm like, sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's yours? It's wrestling. Me? Yeah. Mm. There's there's a lot, man, but I really think I've been watching a lot of Mark Henry lately. Mm. The old Mark Henry sexual chocolate, yeah. the rebrand when him and China were hooking up, and then he hooks up with China's friend Sammy, and turns out to be uh, China. Was she Oriental? <laughs> they they spelled it with a Y. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that is one. Yeah. That's a good one, man. <laughs> There's good and bad ones, man. That was a good one. <laughs> I was on the edge, man, of racism. <laughs> That's it's good. Better than being on the Triple H. I thought China. <laughs> yeah, and, and like World's Strongest Man wanted to rebrand as sexual chocolate, so he was like the ladies' man. He lost weight, and he was trying to hook up with everyone. It was like He wound chocolate. up hooking up with Sammy, and Sammy was a man in disguise. You remember that? Like, he wanted to do like multiple people, and he wanted to have China and her friend get together, and it wound up China leaving, and Sammy and him getting a little hot. Wow. Mark Henry's like going in for the, and she takes off her wig, and he's like, oh, 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 it's a man. <laughs> I think that's pretty offensive nowadays. He's, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, no, yeah, wrestling with more than just. <laughs> 
<laughs> People in the ring, you know. World's Wrestling. strongest transitioning woman. <laughs> okay. Mark Henry, man. Mark Henry. Sexual chocolate. Yeah, I dude. think that's pretty offensive. You kind of look like a white Mark Henry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> Sexual white chocolate, yeah, man. That's what... <laughs> <laughs> you knew it was a slow night on Raw when they had the like the the face. They go, "You're gonna face the world's strongest man." Like you immediately knew that it was gonna be a boring episode of Raw. Yeah. <laughs> you, knew, you knew Stone Cold wasn't coming with me. Yeah. <laughs> do you think? Do you think their outfits relate to how exciting they are? No, no? because degree. I think they all have pretty Look sick at the fits. Rock's outfit. It's just fucking speedo. A little black True. underwear. Well, I mean, his, his outfits, like, during promos and, like, going out there, he'd, he'd have, like... Oh, the robe. Yeah, he would, yeah. But I was thinking of Ric Flair or Stone Cold having the vest or Mankind having the mask and all so those kinds like, of things that, like... Andre the Giant, though, was just a black leotard, you know? Like, that's True. pretty generic, Big but then he's... just a leotard. That was, yeah. That was a completely different, like, uh, era, yeah. Oh, yeah. All, he His... The drive for him was he was a fucking nine foot golem. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. There was also like I mean there was like really not like Sting right was like super painted. The face up paint and gold all that. dust. Yeah. Yeah. My boy Jeff Hardy he got, he got me into wrestling a lot because of his like just his overall fucking. I mean he had face paint on all the time. These <sighs> weird arm things that my sister dude. Kept he was the me. ultimate emo. The dude. girls yeah. would wear those same exact things, dude. Uh-huh. My si- my sister would be like, "That's what girls." wear and i'm like fuck you it was, <laughs> the hardy can girls wear. do that yeah. Yeah. can girls when he was supposed to wrestle sting and he he showed up drunk yeah and that was like a real thing like yeah. that was like beyond the story yeah and they like had to stop it and sting had to like him. actually pin him like yeah they, like, they physically they, hold him down you can see him. sting up go up to him and be like i'm gonna pin you and then he fucking does the fucking, holds him down no he does like his finisher on him real quick and then holds him down as he pins him wow yeah. and then jeff hardy sits up he's like what the no shit, but he was fucked, dude. You can tell, Hardy, like dude, documentary he, he come, would be yeah. so tight. That would he's be awesome. Awesome. Yeah, he comes out of the the like the back, and he's walking like this. He's like, and he takes oh. forever to come out. From and he the like, back too. yeah, it took him like ten minutes to even come out because he was so fucked. And then the like Eric his, Bischoff his comes out music to would stop go him. on, and like they would be waiting for him. And the normal time he comes out, like they do the camera angles and everything, waiting for him. And then he doesn't come out, and then he finally comes out, but he's like walking super slow. And oh not, like, man! Doing his dance. I feel like alcohol isn't the drug to do. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, he had other problems. It, it was too. it was painkillers. Yeah, pain oh yeah, and he would be, do like whippets and shit. He, he, painkillers. When, when stuff. you're jumping off an 18 foot ladder, you're gonna yeah, have some painkillers in your I life. Think about it. Like that's really all he. Like I love Joe. He was like my favorite wrestler. <laughs> but all he did, like all he did, <laughs> the ladders, was jump bomb. off the ladder. Yeah. Like, yep. <laughs> dude, I remember Spears. When I first, like one of the like big moments in wrestling I was coming up was Jeff Hardy versus uh, the Undertaker in a ladder match. I love the Undertaker. Oh, Undertaker is one of my favorite yeah. matches ever. And like oh, Jeff Hardy, man. he's like all fucked up after the match, and he's he got like gets up. He's like, "Oh, is that the best you got, <laughs> Undertaker?" Then, yeah, t- and then Taker <laughs> comes back and beats him up again, and then Boom. He gets well, up. He's again. about to. Yeah, then, doesn't he yeah. do it once, and then comes back again, and then I don't know. But I think he, he like puts a fist up and then yeah. holds his face and, and shakes then, his hand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Puts him over, man. That's yeah, a, dude. that's a classic like wrestling. Yeah, he, I feel like I don't know. You're 100 percent right, dude. Yeah. Geek out, dude. I don't give a fuck. No, oh, bro. I mean, I feel like Jeff Hardy was underutilized like a motherfucker, bro. And like, there's he had a heel run where he was a bad guy on TNA, mm-hmm. and he comes out with his own rolled tobacco cigarette because that's where his dad worked was a tobacco cool. farm, and he had like a button up with a tie on, but Damn. it was like loose and it yeah. was purple. It was like up. Marlon Brando. Bro, he came out like he would come out there and like not give a shit about the crowd. Like it was like it was one, me, brother. He, that, I think it, that's what he was leading up to the match against Sting. Yeah. And it, it or I could be completely wrong. Uh but I think the fact way, that it, heel, heel Jeff Hardy would have been so fucking tight. Yeah. Like a bad guy that jumps off ladders. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he just had he had he had colorful hair like all the girls I was into. You know, he, he did like, dress very like Blink One Eighty Two, like very oh, emo yes, man, dude. Like you he know? listened to AFI. Emotional. Yeah, Team Extreme man 
two two dudes dressed like that and then like, a hot <laughs> chick with them. Like, and she did backflips off the top rope, which that's the early two thousands right there. That's getting into two thousand ten territory right there. Two thousand two type shit. Yeah. Really yeah. am. Yeah. yeah. All right. Turn your, of the century. Your turn. Um most offensive storyline? Yeah, yeah. Uh what offended me? Yeah. Something that offended you. Was uh, the dude in the stormtrooper helmet? Just that. Uh, just no. the guy dropping coming through. The- <laughs> was yeah. it not canonical? What was that guy's name? Breaking- wasn't accurate. <sighs> what was it? He break. He falls over and his helmet falls off. Yeah, yeah. he they <laughs> he trips mm-hmm. <laughs> on like a a beam or something, and he falls through. That's like a his helmet as, falls as off. Close, thunder shock or something. I'm gonna thunder. Find it. Yeah, or thunder as shock. Close to like a no, cryptid on shock. wrestling as there could be. Like that's a Whoa. wrestling cryptid, right? There. I looked up stormtrooper wrestler and uh, a guy a wrestler with a Nazi flag came up. Ooh, see that's offensive. That is I a, didn't like that. That's the n word. Yeah. No, it's not. Jesus Christ. Nazi is the <laughs> word. Oh, my God. What the shit? That's the ultimate heel right there. Yeah, like, that's not uh, like I, heel I Hitler. Okay. <laughs> 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 heel Hitler. <laughs> yeah, what's his finisher? The mine. The mine comp. <laughs> Mind mind curb stomp. <laughs> oh, mind curb stomp. Mind curb stomp. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. I'm trying to find you it. will lose if you go against me. <laughs> <laughs> the nine will driver. He goes up there. <laughs> starts his promo every time with the weird the weird wave that you ever see those videos of Hitler doing that shit? It's so weird. Jackson, you ever saw him doing Jordan? Like he had a wave. Hello. Yeah, like it was like very flamboyant. Like it was like, like people that own Jeeps. Yeah, actually, Dave, Dave owns a Jeep. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not a 1942 Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a face he made. It was just yeah, but it runs on gas, right? Okay. Random Tallow Shockmaster. Yeah. Shock wasn't far off. The Shockmaster. I mean, you probably should have just kept with the. So his Stormtrooper helmet. Yeah, yeah, he had his Stormtrooper helmet. So you're talking like Star Wars Stormtrooper yeah, helmet? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I, I never saw it's that. It's bedazzled. Oh, it's like a 15 second <laughs> clip. I'll show it to you at some point, man. It's pretty good. But you, they yeah, have like yeah. Ric Flair and a few dudes are like arguing in what yeah. feels like a reality TV well, set. They're setting up for like uh, war games or something like that. Yeah, that the idea. Star like, Wars games. Where yeah. like some Survivor Series shit. Yeah, it's like where they put them in two rings. They have two rings and they put the cage over it. Ah, oh, man. Wait, you're, you're, they had war games back then? Yeah, that's where it came from was WCW. No way. Yeah, Dusty Rhodes invented that shit. No. Yeah, dude. No way. Man. Yeah, dude. Come on. He invented it. He invented it, brother. <laughs> yeah. That's the Rhodes. Yeah. Uh, we had a, uh, so at summer camp, Right, it was always you had to have a an uh, uh, like a description and then a adjective or whatever adjective and then a noun to make your camp name. I was Tiny Leaf. Um, that's where Tiny Leaf Big Stem comes from. That makes sense. There was a guy that had Dusty up. Rhodes. Cool. Yeah, and that's you knew tiny. right from the he was a fucking diehard. Mm-hmm. As a country boy. Yeah, on them dusty roads. <laughs> about hard times, brother. Yeah, <laughs> my father was a plumber. Yeah, <laughs> he wasn't very limber, but he was very lumber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say for mine. I'm gonna say uh, when uh, after Eddie Guerrero died, oh. when uh, they were pushing Rey Mysterio, and the way that they made Randy Orton a bad guy was just every week come out and say that Eddie Guerrero was an hell. Yeah, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It yeah. sounds like something Randy would say. Fuck he, Randy, dude. he had some wild eyebrows. Uh, Randy Orton, oh, Randy Orton. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He'd make that angry face. He was on quite a few offensive storylines for sure. He's got a few. Yeah, he used to punt Randy Orton the head. Yeah, yeah. The Undertaker funeral. I'm playing mind games. I beat you mentally. Then Undertaker like sits up in the fucking casket and choke slams him. That didn't happen, man. And Randy, uh, dude, dude, <laughs> you keep saying that, and I know it. I watched this shit literally last night. You're making when, that. When's up, the though. first time you saw someone get hit with one of Undertaker's lightning bolts? Um, oh, man, 
<laughs> Did that ever take you out of it? <laughs> I can't think of a specific moment. Like, do you remember that though? Yeah, I do remember. He'd them, like, like put his hand up, and they'd fucking. Uh-huh. A lightning bolt would come I'm out. I'm trying to think of a person you did that to. I'm pretty sure you did it to Randy Orton. Oh, yeah. They were like the huge. When he lit the casket on fire and fucking he walks out of the casket, yeah. it's the Damn. hardest entrance ever, man. Yeah. And Randy yeah. Orton's just like, oh, oh, and Undertaker bell rings and he just smacks the door off of a flaming casket. Fucking Orton, here's a who? It's Undertaker. <laughs> That's who. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I really like The Undertaker. I, I really like The Undertaker, dude. man. And, like, Paul Bearer is the funniest shit. Yeah. He goes to open a casket, Ooh. and Paul Bearer is in it with the urn, shaking the urn. Lights go out. Lights go back on, and he's standing there ready to kick Randy I, Orton's I, I ass. I'm that now, dude, honestly. I think that dude. kind of, like, pu- like, performance and that kind of writing and that stuff, that takes so much to build. And, like, I think that that's, like, uh, success, you know, and, like, you do create those moments no matter what you're doing. Like, even, like, uh, on a TV show when people can be, like, I mean, it's, like, the Red Wedding. Everyone knows what you're talking Ooh. about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's those big moments that, like, every fucking, it's just in the ether. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think uh, even if it's, like, into a meme and wrestling's been put into memes so much. Like, yes. Vince McMahon <laughs> having his face shoved into the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! You never know. Give us your second pick, dude. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, can you do three? Yeah. All right. I could. Like the more we talk about it, the, the more, more your I mind think starts thinking. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, Brock Lesnar fighting a guy, and then he pulls off his fake leg <laughs> and then beats the shit out of him, and he only has one leg, and it's like, <laughs> it's like multiple weeks of. I mean, Just at one point, the shit out of that guy. Yeah, at one point he throws the guy down a bunch of stairs. Like, yeah. Oh my god! It on his wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! I forgot about this dude. It yeah. wasn't Vicky, right? And like literally, that, that's all they used the guy for. Like they didn't. The have whole like point was to get art. Hulk Hogan back. <laughs> I think that was the like payoff. Was Hulk Hogan came back? Yeah, that makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that guy's name? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, dude, I remember too. That was one of the times where, when you're like a kid. And like your parents think it's fine that you're watching wrestling, uh-huh. but the, like Brock Lesnar's beating up this paraplegic. It's like, he's like F five in him, like <laughs> and shit, fucking. just picking him back up after he's already knocked out. Yeah, <laughs> All right, let me do it. completely disarmed. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Holy shit! Yeah, I just remember that one. Damn, yeah, that's a good one, dude. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I got pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, pretty strong yeah. offensive ones. Yeah, man. Like, wow, wow. I, I I like the McMahons, the McMahons, and the fucking the one where he does a tag team match, the McMahons against Shawn Michaels and God, yeah, where he's like, God, get your ass down here, yeah. and it's just a spotlight shining with angelic music, and everyone's just like so he confused. Starts selling for him and shit. Yeah. He starts, start, starts selling for the light. Yeah, oh, it's so he's like, God, that's not how we do it here. That's not. <laughs> Get jiggy with it, God. And then they start like playing funky organ music, and the guy running the stoplight starts like shaking it back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just walking around the ring, and the, the announcers are like, Oh, God, here he comes. Oh, my God, did you feel that? Did you feel that? That was God. Did you? <laughs> just like, I think, religiously speaking, I'm not a religious man, but the wrestling fanatics are. Wrestling fans. Thank you for pointing at me. When you <laughs> <laughs> well, they're religious. <laughs> Even Shawn Michaels though, is religious, so you think he'd be like, maybe not. <laughs> we shouldn't do this. <laughs> it's a little, I don't know. Yeah. It's not as offensive as the crippling guy, but I mean, I just it's one of the instances I can think of that I would pick. Could be the. I get that, man. Yeah, yeah. We're covering that they all just pretended to be feeling the spirit. Yeah, <laughs> like that's there's a whole crew pulling that off. Like there's a guy up there with the light. Like this is so fucking stupid. You mean I got a, I got a fucking like, <laughs> like with the lightning bolt Vince, kind of thing? Vince playing God. Yeah, yeah, true. His ego was He's so big with at a that lot point. Of stuff, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you you gotta know when you're man. When you're man. Yeah, he yeah. does. God, you know, live you in heaven. Use yourself for God. <laughs> you gotta because he's man. afraid of what he's created. You gotta be to be the man. <laughs> McMahon with a tear in my eye. What's yours? 
second pick? Uh, I'm gonna go Are you with. Cheating? You're over here cheating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> can, I cheat? can I go pee? I gotta cheat. Go I gotta pee, pee a little chit. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, Hornswoggle is McMahon's child. Oh okay. man, right. Hornswoggle. Yeah, that's when they called him the horny little bastard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I know they, bastards, they and that's not it. okay. Yeah, I'm close friends with the rat bastard. Uh, <laughs> you're close friends with a couple bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, maybe that was too far. I uh, the twins I grew up with were bastards. Hornswoggle no, though is twins, of course. Yeah, any dad's are. Oh, no, you're fine. Geez. One of the cutest little characters in the whole. He was actually a very good wrestler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you but, know that? Do you know who that McMahon's son was originally supposed to be? Uh, yeah. Who? Mr. Kennedy. Yeah, dude. But then he dropped Orton on his head. Yeah, and Orton and complained. Yeah, Orton was like, get this guy out of the fucking company. And, yeah. And then Orton. Because, yeah, there's this guy, that, like, you could tell too when you watched him. They're like, because when you're a kid, when you watch it so much, you can tell when they're like, they've clearly chosen someone to be one of the uh-huh. next big guys. And he would fucking, I don't know if you remember this, but he would, the fucking lights would go out and there'd be a spotlight right in the middle of the ring and he'd fucking bring down his own, like, old school microphone. I remember seeing that. And Vince fucking. Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy. And then he said it. Kennedy, like you ever see him in TNA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anderson, Anderson. yeah. Anderson. It's not as cool. Anderson, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, he was supposed to be like the next one of the next big guys, and then he pissed off the wrong people, dude. And wow, that makes sense. That's one of those where it's like, well, that seems like very catty. Like I've, well, I have if you heard drop one of the top guys, one of their main guys on their head, and they are caddy. It's like, kind of like it's all right, very like. But like, if you just don't vibe well, oh, they'll yeah. get you kicked out. Have you seen the? Uh, there's like a, that new wrestling movie with the family, the like, Von Erichs one. Yeah, the Von Erichs. It, yeah. it goes in on how much they have to be like yes, yes, sir, type shit to the motherfuckers above them. Yeah, it's like almost military, militant oh, yeah. type shit, and like. I mean, yeah. that's at least how their family operated, but it seemed like that's how like the whole business kind of worked. And they're risking limb, like oh, taking yeah. out, and they could get parts away of their bodies. When you listen to people who like have covered wrestling for a long time, or like have worked in the wrestling business for a long time, they'll always be like, "Yeah, we could do what we wanted because no one takes wrestling seriously." You can. That's why they get away with it because no one. Of course, Vince McMahon was racist and <laughs> sexual assaults people. It's wrestling, you know what I mean. And now, yeah, yeah. now it's kind of starting to turn. But that's his character. Well, he did it on TV, dude, and also off stage. He, <laughs> yeah. he wrestled God. He yeah. wrestled God. Yeah, you can't do that. You got to know when you're man. You got to yeah. know when you're man. Mick man. Mick man. Yeah. Wow. Did you get my? You got to beat the man to be the man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So for my second one, I'm going to say. Do you remember Katie Vick? I don't recognize Katie Vick. So in Kane, remember when Kane had the mask that his you could see his mouth uh-huh. right before he took it off, yeah. and he was fighting with he, Triple H for the world championship, and uh, Triple H did this whole thing where he, there was supposedly this woman yeah. from Kane's past mm-hmm. named Katie Vick. Yeah, and he was like, I have, I have, I have, I have a video that's gonna shock you, and then it was it was supposed to be a video of Kane fucking a dead body in a in a uh, casket. Oh. Yeah, God. but it was really just Triple H and a cane mask, <laughs> <laughs> and he yeah. had like a dead doll, like a doll, and uh, yeah, I yeah. was I was like ten. That's so. a classic one. Yeah, that's, that's like one Katie Vick, dude. For sure. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, your first example of necrophilia, pro wrestling. Yeah, yeah. yeah it seriously. Well, it, it teaches that life guy's lessons. In, that guy's in charge now. He's in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like it's so crazy that like he still is like so much. Like better than McMahon, like it's crazy. It's scary. Like, yeah, well, not scary, but it's like just shows how wild wrestling is. Yeah, and the fact that there was a banging a dead corpse storyline and it wasn't the Undertaker involved is that brother. Well, it, yeah, true. Yeah. Can I even remember the Undertaker's we bought, brother? We bought. It was one of the only pay per views I ever bought because I was like, Kane, so is the Undertaker Abel? Kane is. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. One hundred percent. Kane and Abel was. Yeah, I just. Re- oh man. Except Undertaker is the one that killed. Yeah, the, it was yeah, yeah. Kane, and they the Undertaker. God into this. <laughs> yeah, he's the Prince I, of Darkness. Well, it's the best book ever written, man. True. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> 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 People jerk off to it. <sighs> Who knew Dave was into God? Yeah, Man, this really. Has like there been beer. any? Uh, have okay, so there's obviously been rape. 
Yeah, has, I, I think if if it doesn't get brought up, I'm, I'm picking it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. But has there been retards? Yeah, for sure. Really? And rape. I'll actually do. I mean, look at Hornswall. I'm about to right. win the night, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hornswallow. Hornswallow, yeah. No, there has. Dude, remember. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say it, but. Yeah. Uh, if, if I. You guys Horn can. Hornswoggle got in with a lady. You could take this draft pick, man. This one could be a little. Yeah. A little off, man. Well, I already. I just picked. I just picked Katie Vick. Yeah, but you traded last year for a third round pick. I don't know. <laughs> You know, like all right. Well, do you remember? Do you remember Eugene? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my no, grandpa's no, no. name. Eugene was legitimately. Uh huh. He was legitimately the way they portrayed him <laughs> was legitimately like I don't know if it was supposed to be Downs, but it was for sure like heavy autism. Okay. And the but yeah. the the bell would ring and he would fuck you up. Uh-huh. And, and remember when he fought he fought Triple H at SummerSlam at one point, right? And like he was like Eric Bischoff's nephew and. And it was really he just. Come out like this and fucking he was fine. Yeah. <laughs> right. he, he wore whitey tidies as like his. Yeah, whitey <laughs> tidies and a fucking Letterman jacket. Did he dude. have yeah. that? Yeah. Is so funny. Did he have like a handler? Did he have somebody? I think that it was like, Eric Bischoff, wasn't it? Yeah, he definitely because he like was a Eric Bischoff. Would like grab him afterwards. Because the thing was, was, was that I give, dude, give some a sucker. I totally something. just had like memories come back in my head. The storyline was is that they were trying to embarrass Eric Bischoff. By giving his retarded nephew a job, <laughs> and it was Eugene, dude. <laughs> and yeah. then he got a world championship match, <laughs> 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 and almost won, dude. <laughs> and that's the story of radio. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude you, got, you got another one or what? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember his name. Oh, God damn it. He was an ECW guy. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sam, it was. Are you talking about the crucifixion? No. Oh man. Oh, I, got, I might have to look it up. I'm. Are you talking about New Jack? New Jack. Yeah. The guy that almost killed the. Yeah, I guess just New Jack. Like a lot of his storylines were insane. There's a point where he goes like, uh, OJ. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is my message to OJ. Yeah. Good work, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep the good work up. Yeah. And his entire persona was like his actual true feelings of like he just hates motherfuckers and wants wants to kill them in the ring. When he would <laughs> when he would come out to be people, they would just play his music the whole time. For ten minutes he'd come out, beat the fuck out of people. And then leave and then turn his music off. That, yeah. was, his, yeah. that was his whole thing. Like dude. He, and it was like some death match type shit. Like yeah. He was actually fucking these guys up. But the classic <laughs> moment where he's they're standing on like a motherfucking they're like like a steeple of tables on top and he is supposed to throw the guy on this giant stack of tables, but instead purposely misses the tables and just throws him onto the ring. And this is a guy that should not have been even wrestling. Because they would like they were doing this thing where they're like Oh, G- yeah. Gave like indie wrestlers out of the crowd a chance, uh-huh. and this guy just got. I think he stabbed. Didn't he stab another guy in the face, or is it the same guy? Oh my God, uh, yeah. Uh, New was Jack he Puerto man. Rican? No, was, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what he Whoa. was. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> but yeah, pretty crazy, man. He said yeah. some wild shit. Like, just New oh, Jack in general, honestly. That's, yeah. yeah, like him as a character, like all the storylines he was involved in, like, the gangsters, dude. Bro, like yeah. he, the way he, like he, per, he truly felt <laughs> like he was expressing himself on the truest. Like it was one of those weird moments where his character was just himself. Yeah. in a lot of ways. He just wanted to fuck somebody up, dude. That, you know, I mean, that that's, almost, be, that's rest. He almost legitimately kills somebody though. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, but I think when it, it, you can tell when somebody's passionate about it, that yeah. they're like living the thing they should be doing. His mm-hmm. promos were wild, bro. He would say, he'd say like, if if I was doing this 20 years ago, they'd have me lynched in a tree. Jesus <laughs> like, he's like, fuck. For some people's way of beating people oh, up. David Lynch, happy birthday. Good. Yeah. Yeah, Twin thanks. Peaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was his birthday today. You know, <laughs> you know the director. I just get like all pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who the yeah. fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I wasn't done Is that the Dune guy? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you interrupt wrestling yeah. for David fucking Lynch? The most famous Lynch. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty happy with my. List. So Dude, fun. you got a good list. You got a third one. Me, yeah. I uh, 
I got one. You guys know Chris Benoit, right? Yeah. <laughs> I do think uh, I was going to say the most controversial storyline yeah. yeah. is when he is a family annihilator and kills yeah. his family. Yeah. yeah. Chris well, Benoit. His, uh, they had the night of, right? Was yes. the night of his like big Hall of Fame inductee or whatever the No, they didn't know. Well, they didn't know. And so they did a they did like a tribute show to him. Yeah. Yeah. Before, because yeah. Yeah. And it happened it's like so as fun. the news was coming out as the show was happening. Yeah. Right? Pretty much. Because I think you said Damn. that like the person towards the end is kind of like. No, it's like the next, it's SmackDown the next, like, what was it on Thursday then? Where like yeah. they started with Vince McMahon. He's like, we made a mistake. We didn't have all of from Chris Benoit's name will never be mentioned on this show again. Yeah. And then ever since then, it's like. Uh huh. He's nothing. fucking. Yeah. Un- Blacklisted, it, man. Like, yeah. he seriously, well. Strangled. Whacklisted. Whacklisted, yeah. Listed, yeah. Ben yeah. Whacklisted. I've heard like voicemails of him calling one Travel of his, Guerrero. And yeah. yeah. And it's it's sad and yeah. terrifying. But sure, I think it's, it's eerie. It, it sends chills down the spine because you're like, oh, he's going to do something. He's going to. And yeah. he did. That's the storyline. I'm picking that one. It's pretty uh, it dark. Real life. But <laughs> it's real life. <laughs> <laughs> like even mine where guys like trying to kill a guy it's like come on dog I mean, yeah it's still wrestling there used to be a there used to be a <laughs> conspiracy theory that this old other wrestler kevin sullivan actually did it because he was like his character was a big like satan worshiper and uh because nancy benoit his chris benoit's wife was married to him kevin sullivan first whoa yeah. see the there's controversy there yeah <laughs> there's always a heel yeah Right now in hell, there's a yeah, and he's in jail, <laughs> or well, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he wrestling? That guy. Oh, Kevin Sullivan. Yeah, he's still alive. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, that's he, he made big, it out. That's the, <laughs> that's the biggest twist I heard on that. Yeah. <laughs> you got one more? Yeah. Um, uh, the uh, uh, Muhammad uh, Hassan. Oh right. yeah, he used piano wire to choke out the Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched a video about that, dude. He was gonna be like the they were gonna make him the world champion, and then they fucked up because they did exactly what you're about. Yeah, they did oh. like they had to no no. <laughs> no. They came up with the idea after nine eleven. That was the Iron Sheik's plan. Yeah. That was. <laughs> but what they did is they had they had like five guys dressed up as terrorists attack the Undertaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> oh man! Well, I don't remember it, but I know of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iron Sheik also was a pretty. I mean, oh, there's some brutal. Like I loved like the characters of that era, like yeah. Sergeant Slaughter, man. The motherfucking what's oh, the guy that was? Yes, that's like yes. A big prospect of one that could have been used is when Iron when Sergeant Slaughter was when he turned on America. Well, <laughs> or just in general. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of a different guy. It's the guy that Undertaker hangs in a. Oh, Big Boss Man. Yeah, he hangs Big Boss Man, and it's just like an image of this guy who looks like he's actually hanging from his neck. Uh, and they literally, that's how they cut. Like, well, we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> next yeah, week like, on wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, like, man. we're going to leave him up there? Like, ding, ding. And he's like red as hell. Like, he's really playing the role. It looks like he's like legit hanging from a noose. And yeah. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Undertaker. Okay, well, remember when they ran rough. over uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yeah, with the yeah, yeah was that yeah. the truck or was that what they do it with with the motorcycle? Or? I think it was a truck. It was the truck. It was I Stone Cold's it. truck. I did it for the Rock. I did it for the Rock. Yeah, <laughs> I like uh, the one. The best vehicle was the. Uh, Dude with the long horns on the front of his car. JBL. JBL. Yeah. Oh, that dude. Yeah, that's yeah. Jesus it. Christ. This isn't my pick, but uh, big money. <laughs> Damn, that's not <laughs> this isn't my pick. But remember, it? there was a there was a moment when it, uh, JBL was feuding with Eddie Guerrero, where one of the things that they did to make him more of a bad guy was they filmed him going to the border and kicking Mexicans back over the yeah. border. Uh-huh. Jesus. Uh, the, yeah, he, he got in trouble for uh, goose stepping one time in Germany. No. During a match, dude, oh, he started like, goose stepping. Yeah, I think there's like film of that, isn't it? Yeah, there is, and you're like, that's illegal in Germany. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's full on like jail time type. Is shit. that the yeah. type of dance you do at the goose concerts? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's one third of what you do at the duck duck goose concert. <laughs> duck, duck, goose. <laughs> yeah, that was JBL was definitely up there. Yeah, he, w- like multiple rivalries with like. Uh, he was he was a Texas wrestler. Yeah. And so before he went to WWE, that's what he was like 
he that's what shot him up in the like in the rankings and stuff and got him into WWE was being the bad guy going against a Mexican and guy. he was stereotypically really? like yeah. super I didn't know, rich. I, never, I didn't know that like, right he, he big was money super loaded well this was before he was even that probably yeah and the super loaded was like it was it was like a weird flip of it was like a last chance kind of thing yeah it yeah. was like well it was their way of flipping him into like a main card heel well, because before that he was just the APA guy right yeah exactly yeah, 100% yeah. He reminded me. Do you remember? I'm an APA guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you guys remember uh, <laughs> the Doug Dimidome, owner of the Dugsdale Dimidome? Yeah. Heck yeah. Bart. That's what yeah. JBL reminded me of. I don't yeah, remember that I at mean, all. they had the same hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And car. Doug Dimidome. Oh, man. Dimsdale Dimidome. Dimidome. He was, he was apparently like a real asshole behind the scenes, too. Yeah, I've heard that. Like he hazed wrestlers a lot. Yeah. JBL? Yeah. Yeah. Like him. I forgot who. I don't, what was his real name? I think it's Chad Bradshaw because he goes on like he used to go on like Fox News as that. Yeah, as like John as like an economic consultant. Sounds like a uh, news like an NFL broadcaster. Yeah, for sure. Bradshaw. That's yeah, Terry Bradshaw. Bradshaw. John Layfield actually. John Bradshaw Layfield. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So what's your uh, final yeah. draft? My final pick is the Kane and Lita. You guys remember Kane and Lita? Uh huh. So Kate, Lita had this whole thing where she was with Matt Hardy, and then she she had an affair with Edge. And yeah. so they did the whole thing where Edge and Matt Hardy. So feuded. in that situation, does she actually sleep with Edge? No, or that's why they. She did sleep with. It's Edge. for the bit. Yeah, was, she's they, committing she to the bit. With Edge. So so what happened was. <laughs> yeah. I'll break down the whole wait, story. Wait, 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 I just watched the YouTube. Yeah, so it's Lolita a great does, story. She no, doesn't know a thing or two about commitment. Well. I, mean, I could teach her a thing or two about you know because I got a gift. Oh, yeah, there Mr. You go. Mary <laughs> pants over there. Yeah. So Matt Hardy gets injured, and he asks his good buddy Edge. Hey, I'm off the road. Can you take care of my, you know, watch out for my like girl? Like in Pulp Fiction with... Yeah, just like in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, it's wrestling. <laughs> and then if you don't take this seriously... <laughs> We're going to have to kick you out of the ring. <laughs> kick me out of the ring? One more pun. One more. <laughs> dude, this is every episode, dude. Uh, <laughs> so... <clears throat> Obviously, Edge takes care of her by sleeping with her. Undertaker. Right. <clears throat> so then, do they pair Edge and Lita before it comes out? Uh, it came out. Matt Hardy, like they try to sweep it under the rug, so they fire Matt Hardy, and then I think they, someone told Matt Hardy. Someone snitched, probably. Matt Hardy went through her like uh, was he yeah. He went through her email. Uh huh. Yeah. Saw, that shows what era it is for yeah. sure. Like loving <laughs> love love letters. Messages that they're that they're fucking. Basically. So then at Matt Hardy starts posts on his personal web boards. The real emails. Yeah. yeah he's talking. He's talking about it. And so the way WWE responds is by firing Matt Hardy, <laughs> the guy yeah. who got cheated on. But, and yeah. But because then like a few months. Stirring up. Yeah. Controversy. Sure. For a guy that they're clearly again trying to make one of their top guys. And so then what they do is after everyone starts like there's like this bring Matt Hardy back thing and everyone has uh-huh. signs. So they bring him back specifically to feud <laughs> with Edge and Lita under the story of and she cheated on me. Yeah. And they beat the fuck out of each other. Like he seriously edge is like he's real just punches done a match. He's yeah. all he's all bragging. Lita's next to him. And suddenly he gets attacked by like a random audience member. And then it turns out to be Matt, Matt Hardy. Hardy with like rugged ass hair. Big pop, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he gets the microphone and he's like, Edge, you douchebag. Yeah, he, I think he called Lita a whore. Yeah, it, was, yeah, Lita, it, was good, it was good stuff, dude. I'm going to make your life miserable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so naturally, they follow that storyline up with Kane raping Lita. Yeah, so, naturally. I saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that one. But that's, how, that's how wrestling In works. the rape category, I'm pouring up. The rules. <laughs> In wrestling, she gets pregnant and clearly has to keep it. So she keeps it, and then clearly because because God's now, a wrestler, right? She's clearly now pregnant with Kane's baby, a little candy cane. They have to get married, so they get married, and uh, a shotgun sh- wedding style. Shotgun no, in the middle of the ring, they get married. Does oh, does Ed does Matt was, Hardy interrupt that one too? Uh, or is they it Edge? Tease it. Edge is uh, they're doing the wedding, and then Matt Hardy's music and his promo video come out and then they and laugh then, yeah and then they turn it off and edge laugh and oh you're talking about edge and lita i'm talking about kane and lita well then right after yeah yeah right after that uh kane comes from under the ground oh yeah yeah and then, then commits the act 
Yeah. Where, where, <laughs> underneath the Commits the act. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Uh, solidifies the marriage. <laughs> but it gets better. He was a gay so, consummation. So Lita, Lita. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he, she taps. She taps and gets pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> he one, two, three yeah. taps. Yeah. <laughs> Kane, no, Lita's other finisher was getting an abortion. So. But she didn't get an abortion. <laughs> I, I, I just because yeah. yeah, oh, you're right. You're right. That was good. I'm sorry. I no, I stepped okay, a little man. bit. It, it was bad. It, it was, was kind of an abortion because then along comes this new guy named Snitsky. Snitsky, yeah. And and he takes the baby. And he punts it into the crowd. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> God. <Yeah. laughs> it then, shows where the story was at that point. Yeah. Right? Some guy involved. named Snitsky. And then for the rest of Snitsky's WWE career, he just says, it wasn't my fault. And then that's... <laughs> Yeah, that's my number one pick. <laughs> it wasn't his fault. <laughs> that <laughs> is great. He would take Kicking like, a baby. Yeah. yeah, I think you took it, man. You he got punted it, it dude. You, Fucking you hell. went up to my list, man. You really your your list was good, dude. But we also had. I mean, I had coming I mean, Katie Vick, dude. You know how uh, like they say the thing jumped the shark. Yes, they, yeah. This should be they punted the baby. They punted yeah. the baby. Like, <laughs> it really lost. It went off the rails. There. Man, they I really used to like baby. watching. Uh, you know, like what was the show they always talk about? Uh, Justified. Oh yeah, it was a really good show. Or Yellowstone or something. It was great until about the fourth season. They really yeah. kicked the baby in that one. Punted, yeah. punted the baby. <laughs> that was a long walk. Man. I screwed up the. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little high. <laughs> I really did screw up that setup. Did you remember exactly. that one yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, Not yeah, even worth the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> you were all there. You were all there. It's wrestling. <laughs> oh man, oh. I think I just connected the dots on the exact like moment that I. Was watching wrestling like and realized it was a couple years before. Yeah. Like, well, the first the thing that got me into wrestling was Jeff Hardy was on the top of a steel cage. I was flipping through these channels. Whoa! And all of a sudden, I see this guy with long, like, colorful hair standing at the top of a cage. Samoan guy standing in the middle of the ring, hands wave like he has face paint. Oh, Umaga. what was his name? Umaga. Umaga. I remember Damn, him. That's your hand. first memory of wrestling. Holy yeah, shit! How old are you? Obsessed over it, and then watched like so much YouTube of it. But how, old are, how, how old are you? I'm 27. So I was like like third grade. Oh, I remember. I bet you damn, I still dude, have it crazy. somewhere. The My list first... of a hundred wrestlers, yeah, yeah. and it was like uh, a magazine that had them all listed, and it would do their finishes and like oh. their most important matches and wow. everything. And that's when I researched. Oh, that's when I, I felt like I actually like got that. into. That sounds like a cool dude, I'm only, look. I'm only five years older than you. Amazon, that shit. I'm only five years older than you, but my first memory of wrestling is fucking. Sting and Ric Flair, dude. Uh, <laughs> I get it. I, mean, I had a wrestling yeah. video game when I was like a kid. Yeah. And so oh, I yeah. Knew, I knew That's... the characters of like Hulk Hogan, Undertaker, mm-hmm. SmackDown Jake versus Snake. Raw. I yeah. was introduced I, I to wrestling through video games. Yes. Yeah, WWE 2K. A good game, man. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Uh, uh, so summer camp is like huge for me. The guy that was the um, organizer, he uh, is so into wrestling that he has um, a DDP like tattoo on his uh DDT. chest and like met the guy and ddp diamond diamond, diamond dallas page, page. Like he does dallas all the yoga page. stuff and um he's like he was so into wrestling so he was the the first guy that even introduced me into podcasting like the mm-hmm. day that he talked about um tom segura having a podcast he also told me about um a wrestling podcast wrestling wrestlers definitely were like early in probably er- before in podcasts before comedians honestly I, I could see it. Yeah, yeah, like Stone Cold and Jim Ross. The and, promos and shit talking. Yeah, and well, well, people, yeah, the rocket ship No, but you're fuel. talking about literal actual prop podcast. Into microphone. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. 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 Together, man. Come on. Well, I'm agreeing. Right, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> Jesus No, Christ. they were OG. Lots of long walks, dude. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you started with the bongos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you should have you brought I him. do a lot in post. <laughs> <laughs> do a lot. <laughs> All right. Let's break down these lists. So, Spaghetti Jake. You had Ray and Eddie for Dominic's custody. You had Brock beats up paraplegic. Yeah. And then you had just New Jack in general. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty Brock? Solid. Brock Lesnar. Uh, Brock. Brock. Yeah. I know him first name. We're a first name business. <laughs> Brock yeah. Lesnar? Yeah. Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> that actually was a. Like, they had a match between he's, Brock He's got a Obama necktie tattoo. Did they really? And Instead of a, a machete. That was dressed up and, like, looked like they made him look like Brock. <laughs> And it was a girl that they made look like Hillary, and it was like literally a thirty-minute match. That's that's. Do you remember when? Uh, that's kind of hot. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Back to Pornhub again. Do you, <laughs> do you remember when uh, they 
they were supposed to have Raw on the same night that the Nuggets were playing in a playoff game. 100%. And so they went to the Denver Coliseum and they booked a like an eight man tag where the good guys were uh-huh. Lakers jerseys and the bad guys be wore <laughs> Nuggets jerseys. At that show. And then and they, the Nuggets were in the playoffs. Uh huh. And you were pissed, huh? Yeah, 100%. Why didn't you go to the one at the Coliseum? I was so pissed. They did it at the Coliseum. No, they, they started, they had it scheduled to be in Denver and yeah. then like. Denver canceled because the Nuggets were going to the playoffs. Shout out Melo and Adam. Oh, and then yeah. when they came back, yeah. they went to the Coliseum instead. Yeah, they, when they yeah. came back, they're in L.A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they went to L.A. and so that's why all the good guys were in L.A. gear and all the Nuggets guys like Big Show and fucking <laughs> Randy Orton, like fat Big <laughs> Mr. Show, Kennedy. Too. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. it was like sad. It was Big Show when it was like, come on, dog. After Floyd Mayweather, come on, man. Yeah, Just lay down, man. And now he's still wrestling, and he like. He's got them butter bean knees. I don't know if you've seen. Oh the no, the knees. gross! He, he, he I've got vanilla bean right here. Walk a fly. They had uh, this is a weird tangent. Butter bean. They had him on Family Feud. Jackass did yeah. Family Feud. Yeah. yeah, they had butter bean on the Jackass because thing. he's in the first movie. Yeah, he punched yeah, the shit out of him. He's not a like. Come on, he's man. part of the family. Dude. He's part of the Jackass family. Butter I, bean. Okay, dude. He probably needed a paycheck. So weird. And he was like, he was having not yeah. All the way there mentally, not all the way there physically. Well, of course not. <laughs> he's an old boxer. Yeah. Yeah. He, <laughs> he, he's butter bean along. For, never mind. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> I'm sure he's dead. Right? I don't think so. No, Brother Bean's still alive. That episode yeah. was filmed like five, four years ago. Well, like it was, ago. yeah, it was recent. I distinctly remember watching that. Yeah. So Dave, Dave has, Dave has Mark Henry being set up with a trans man. Yeah, that is sick. That was <laughs> like Evan. In a good that, way. that was Evan. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Play dude. it cool, man. Play it cool. <laughs> <laughs> No, sick as in like, yeah. we know you're sick married, in like straight fucking, married, fucking, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, McMahon versus God, which was, that's a classic. It's just, <laughs> it's just so stupid. Yeah. And then this one's not a storyline. No, dude, I can change the last one if you want. I Should guess. we let him? Would what you, do you guys think? think? We should, I mean, All right. I think the Chris Benoit's a little dark. I'll apologize. It was, it's also not a storyline, though. It's not. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you have? I was thinking of the classic storyline. It's a very uh, famous match. It's Stone Cold versus the uh, Booker T. When he beats the shit out of Booker T in the supermarket. Okay. And he's like singing. Well, I like food. What about he's, with, what about when Triple H told Booker T that doesn't his dick fall out? People like you don't make it here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one I actually like was anything gonna, Booker that, T. That one was when I was coming in here prepared to do. That is a good one because yeah. like there's points where he's like you're gonna do drugs and be a gangster and like just like as racist as you can be. Yeah. Now, part- are you are you able to name? A black wrestler that wasn't a part of a gang. <laughs> yeah, man. I, yeah, I, am I? Do I have to entertain this bullshit? <laughs> Wait, wasn't this? Uh, but I thought this was the whole thing. <laughs> With Brad, yeah, Brandon, Brandon Patrick thinks that all wrestlers, black wrestlers, are junkyard right. dog. Man, uh, he was his own dog. How? How? Uh, <laughs> but the point that what made the Triple H one so offensive was that Triple H ended up winning the whole thing, and like so. Yeah. Booker T never got like never got to like he never got his comeuppance exactly like he usually in wrestling they try to at least have some sort of like moral base to it if I can be racist to you you can be the world champion but not this time exactly it was like one of those few ones where he never had the moment not with Triple H no yeah damn yeah honestly Booker T was like one of the most like screwed a Rooney motherfuckers yeah they fucked him up like the whole thing about too like him. He's being chased by Stone Cold, and he leaves the match because he screwed Stone Cold out of a championship or something. Right, right, right. Doesn't and, uh, sorry. Yeah, and then they, Booker T stops at a supermarket for a latte in the middle of it and calls Vince. Yeah, and then they like broadcast the whole thing and like Stone. He attacks a bald guy in the supermarket. It turns out it's just a random civilian and the only one Fuck. in that supermarket. Stone Cold comes up and snaps a beer open and then beats the shit. He's like putting flour on him, pouring, here's a little bit of gray poop on. It's so funny. It is funny. And Booker T's dick falls out, right? Like, doesn't he rip his pants that. or yeah, something? His dick pops out. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
In the uh, middle of getting thrashed around the supermarket. But that wasn't like planned or anything. That was like a wardrobe <laughs> malfunction, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's big. It's so not a storyline. Easy to pop out, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what makes him not championship material. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, it, it, yeah, it's, you know, in that same storyline, like Stone Cold kidnaps him and puts him in like a freezer. And yes. Like, he has him yeah. all tied up and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, what? What? Every he's time, in his every face. Every time he talks, he just goes, what? Yeah. Pouring beer over him, man. Like, just. Yeah. Stone Cold. Stone Cold was a Do you think that, uh, I mean, I do like Stone Cold being the guy that drinks, like, cold beers. I think that's kind of cool. Hell yeah. 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 Hell yeah, <laughs> brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is cool. It is and I pretty, bet you there's... As the rattlesnake, say, it's pretty dude. sick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guarantee there's more kids out of all the names that people have named kids after because of wrestling. I bet you Austin is the most common where a, a wrestling fan... It's like, I'm going to name my kid after a wrestler. I guarantee Austin's the most common. Steve. Yeah, I was expecting to see more stings or something, you know. Mix. Fucking, yeah. Mix, yeah. <laughs> Nick Honestly. Foley. Yeah. <laughs> Some cactuses, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Snitsky. Yeah, Snitsky's, I don't know. yeah. <laughs> so, Evan. <laughs> what's mine? Uh, you had Shockmaster. Yeah. Not that defensive, but it was funny. Uh, you had Hornswoggle is really McMahon's son. What about when, uh, so we talk about Chris Benoit. Do you remember the storyline they were about to start right before Chris Benoit died? No. So the week before, uh, they have Vince McMahon talking to someone, and he goes off, and he gets his to, into his limo, and then his limo explodes, and that's how they ended Raw. Vince McMahon dies. Vince yeah. McMahon dies. Holy and then shit. The next week, Chris Benoit killed his family, and they were like, maybe not. Let's yeah. <laughs> And so they started raw with Vince McMahon being like, "We had a tragedy." And he, was, he was the ultimate sacrifice. Vince McMahon is also Jesus. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He God. sacrificed himself so that Chris Benoit would kill his family. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you're saying? Well, he came back when he was most needed. Oh, uh, I get it now. As yeah. a person who grew up in church, I should have gotten that a res- yeah, I, resurrection. Honestly, like I barely went to church. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so and then you had uh, <laughs> Muhammad Hassan. <laughs> yeah. The terrorist. The terrorist. <laughs> Sorry. No, yeah. I, I feel like I didn't need to share that. So. <laughs> you know what? Huh? What'd you say? What? What'd you say? <laughs> Don't stone cold this me. This is dude. every day. This is fucking every day. I'm so tired of it. Huh? God damn it. Let's uh, <laughs> oh, Muhammad Hassan. The wrestler, wrestling Piano. terrorist, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, Piano yeah. strings. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. And then I had I had uh, Eddie Guerrero's in Hell. I was Randy Orton, Katie Vick, and uh, Kane, Lita, Snitsky. I feel like that's might be the biggest. Yeah. I, we'll, we'll let the... Wait, what about Eugene? I, I didn't pick it first, so mm. I don't want to take it. We'll just... That's hey, an honorable mention. In a draft, that should have been picked. Honorable mention. I agree. Yeah. There, there's a few. I could still try to think of more, honestly. Yeah, I think there's I so too. many. Yeah. God damn. But there's, I remember vaguely seeing like flashes of an old woman giving birth and a bunch of wrestlers standing around her. As Mae Young when she gave birth to a hand. Yeah. For Mark Henry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was exactly, I'm just like flashing yeah. to that. Just what the there's fuck one where they was crucify that? Stephanie McMahon. They sacrificed Stephanie oh McMahon to the Undertaker. God. And it's not the only crucifixion that's been in like wrestling. Right. Kurt Angle would have signed a WC- uh-huh. ECW, but they, yeah. they crew, did they crucify? They, I, I, I don't know. Is, just, it, is it Sandman that they crucified? Probably, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They crucified him, and then Kurt Angle was like, He's a I'm not, good Catholic boy from Pittsburgh. Yeah, he was like, I'm not. <laughs> Wrestling for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, do you remember uh, there, there was a period where uh, um, they had Linda McMahon pretending that she was like uh, in a coma, and she would, but she was just, like still in a wheelchair, and like her eyes are open, and Vince McMahon would just like make out with Trish Stratus in front of her all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> real wife. Yeah, that was his real. And then eventually, you remember when he made Trish Stratus like like strip and bark like crawl around in the ring like a dog and bark mm-hmm. yeah dude i'm pretty sure Jesus. she's one of the chicks that like accused him of shit i don't know they have, she's been on there so yeah. she's been on there recently yeah randy orton punting stephanie mcmahon that one's pretty crazy didn't he punt stacy keebler too yeah and he punted john cena's dad oh yeah <laughs> he pulls john cena's dad out of the crowd <laughs> and just kicks him in the head for no and he's just like yeah yeah like oh man 
John Cena. There's, there's a point where Edge flips Vicky Guerrero's wheelchair while yeah. she's handicapped. So. I remember that. That one's tight. <laughs> yeah. I, man, this do you remember when Kane threw Shane McMahon like a uh, like there you know like when uh like if you work at an arena and they have the loading docks to where like there's like a big drop like you can stand up on a platform and then there's a big drop he had he like threw Shane McMahon down there. Yeah, and then they just put the camera like they it was just like a cheap ass camera <laughs> angle. Of, yeah. like, he threw him and then the camera guy walks up and he's just laying he's just, his legs all fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Segura type shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I mean but it's those kinds of shots and those kinds of promo cuts that like uh build the storyline oh yeah you know what i mean i love those promos like like i love the one where vince mcmahon has his leg broken and he's in the hospital stone cold sneaks in it's like time to take the temperature yeah then starts beating the shit out of him on the hospital man and and like sako the fucking dr sako mr sako guy yeah is like I brought you some yeah. some lady entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> you got to see this trick she does with a dog, and it's a clown. A clown yeah. walks in. Yeah. 